the Ombanda New Earth Ashram for Compassion and Strength is an organizational endeavor that seeks to codify and teach the process of stabilizing the contact between the right divine matrix and the left 3D human matrix hemispheres of the brain. The connecting ganglia between these hemispheres of the right and left hemispheres of the brain is called the corpus callosum, which in essence functions as a reality selection switch. This reality selection switch has the ability to choose between left, linear, and right intuitive hemispheres or rather the appropriate mode of intelligence for the situation at hand. To access left and right brain hemispheres as well as a sort of reality selection itself, the left brain loves words as much as the right brain loves pictures and sensations. And both sides need equal time and space to get used to working together in a more meaningful way. Metaphysically speaking, this tends to serve the principle of consciousness itself, which, like the god Hermes, Jehuti, both the Atlantean thought, travels among the worlds without becoming resident to any of them. Consciousness, it seems, is the passport to travel between the worlds. And it is further, for further point of clarification, the learning methods that I will present with this nonprofit entity that I'm establishing here in the state of Texas will be based upon the Lozano learning method methodologies where research by a Bulgarian psychologist by the, by the name of Georgi Lozano who conducted extensive research, research on the process by which people learn and permanently record information. Dr. Lozanov was intrigued by examples of super learning from around the world. And Lozanov became interested, became fascinated in the idea that each of us actually has two brains, a right and a left hemisphere, and they perform different functions. The left hemisphere is the logical, linear, practical brain it is responsible for reasoning, analysis, and calculation. It is the mathematical, verbal, sequential, pragmatic, and skeptical side of the brain. It is responsible for language and for processing facts and is concrete and straightforward. It is the no-nonsense or engineering side of the brain. The right hemisphere of the brain is very different. It thinks in terms of pictures and stories. It is holistic, dealing with all aspects of an idea or situation simultaneously. The right hemisphere is intuitive, musical, and creative. It is the artistic, abstract, and imaginative side of the brain. The left brain seems to be stimulated by intense, logical, linear presentation of information. The right brain seems to process information best in a state of relaxation. What Lozanov discovered was that it was when both brains were working together harmoniously that rapid learning took place. So, for example, when I was a student of the Japanese language many, many years ago uh, at the University of Montevallo, and I um, was uh, privy, I was exposed, I was for a few years running uh, as a student of the Japanese language uh, immersed within the Lozanov learning method where my study of Japanese involved 
listening to native speakers, Japanese speakers, uh, learning vocabulary, practicing the language, all in the atmosphere of uh, listening to classical music. So the idea being that the classical music was accessing that right side of our brain and thus putting us in this sort of uh, super learning modality while the left brain had its you know language linguistical exercises and I can tell you I certainly uh, learned learned quite a bit in that course and I can juxtapose that method with what the military my experience in the uh, in military intelligence where I, I studied Chinese Mandarin for two years quite a different experience as you might can imagine and even though where I was studying Chinese Mandarin at the uh, De uh, Defense Language Institute in Monterey California was considered cutting edge language linguistical training. Um, it still had, um, it still was lacking compared to the Lazanov method. So that is the method that I will choose to adopt and present here at the uh, Umbanda New Earth Ashram for Compassion and Strength when we have our program set up. Um, furthermore, I'd like to end this video by um, pointing out something that. Um, in Nordic, in, in northern Nordic mythology, Odin, the the Nordic god Odin, uh, if you recall, Odin sometimes referred to as the One Eye, Odin One Eye. But <clears throat> essentially, you know, he gave his eye for knowledge of uh, esoteric knowledge of, of the ruin of ruins of you know and just magic, you know. Uh, to poetically put it in that language, magic, but he gave his eye. But that is, not very many people consider this or realize this, that that is symbolic of the right eye being removed basically is very deep symbolism in that Odin was disconnecting his left side of the brain, the left side, the ego side of the brain, which uh, in, in that world, um, in the Nordic world and, and among the Celts too, very warrior people, braggadocio, a lot of, lot of you know, uh, one-upsmanship in those cultures. But really, the message that of the of Odin to to his uh, followers and people uh, was to transcend your ego, and that is symbolic. That's what I believe. The right eye of Odin missing his right eye, him taking giving his right eye, was to put the ego in its place and give more credence to the right side, intuitive side of the brain. And that's what that's all about. So um, just an interesting uh, aside. So um, there you have it, folks. I believe uh, that if we're experiencing sometimes turmoil in our uh, collective, in our world, or in our own individual world, um, a lot of times it's, it's the, the misfiring of the synapses of the communications between the right and left sides of the hemisphere. And so it is vitally important to give equal times to, you know, things like meditation. Uh, don't always be like, you know, trying to figure the world out with your left hemisphere. It's all facts, data, data. No, you know, you got to kind of take it, take a step back and access that right divine matrix side of your, uh, your brain technology, the creator, the divine a uh, grid programmer um, designed that very expertly and, and even as I speak I do believe that Alcyon Central Sun is sending light codes to uh, activate all 12 strands of our DNA to uh, to pave the golden path into the new earth. Namaste. Namaskaram. <laughs>